Hello there everyone, it's Aiden here, taking a rare break from combo busting in Rollerdrome, a game that I wasn't even going to pick up this week, but boy am I glad that I did. This game has me hooked, especially as me and my friends battle it out over the leaderboards. I have somehow racked up close to 15 hours in this game in just a few days, and as hopefully more of you pick up Roll 7's latest, I have a few words of wisdom to impart upon you. Of course, that means I have 7 tips for Rollerdrome that will have you breaking records in no time and rightfully placing yourself atop the leaderboards. I've got my skates on, so let's get into it. Learn your moves. Tricks aren't just how you earn points in Rollerdrome, they're how you reload your weapons. That means that you should be grinding rails, flipping off of half pipes and scaling walls any chance you get. But of course, points are the name of the game here and some tricks are worth more than others. You want to head on over to the Trictionary to learn all of your moves, but the basic idea is either one or two directional flicks accompanied by pushing square, wink wink, for grabs and triangle for grinds. Partner this up with some flips and you'll be stacking up points aplenty. Mix up your tricks. We've all played a game like this, falling into the habit of finding that one easy to use, high scoring trick time and time again, but in Rollerdrome, that actually doesn't help. Each trick will receive less points after you've performed it for the first time, meaning you're getting diminishing returns on your moves. That's why it's so important to learn your movesets because it really pays off to diversify how you navigate levels so that you can maximise your points. Kill with the right gun If you aren't pulling off a sick 540 coffin flip then you're probably shooting some guns. Rollerdrome allows you to use four different weapons, the dual pistols, shotgun, grenade launcher and the Z11 laser shot. But with varying enemy types, one weapon might work for this enemy and not so much for the other. If you want to be quick and efficient with your killing in Rollerdrome, you need to learn which gun works with which enemy. So for example, the Z11, if you charge that one up for its double shot, it'll actually one shot the warhead which otherwise requires you to shoot them and then wait for their shield to go down. Other examples are the grenade launcher with the mech brute which will actually two shot its flamethrowers and then two shot finish it, whereas it's immune to pistols and even the Z11 is kind of useless against it, at least in the first stage. Find the weapons that kill the enemies the quickest. Save your battles. On the note of weapons, something you really shouldn't be shooting are the explosive barrels. These are very strategically placed around the map and they can be vital in quickly taking out certain enemies. But don't just be popping them off if a grunt is standing by. No, if you hold off for the right moment, a barrel can be used to stun a riot guard and paired with a couple of pistol shots can even take out a warhead before they shield up. If you can easily take out an enemy with a shotgun slug or a few shots of the pistol, then do that. But for the bigger guys, these can save time and ammunition if you save them for the right opportunity. Always use reflex. Continuing on with the topic of shooting, you absolutely need, need, need to remember to always use reflex. This is a slow motion mode activated when you dodge just as a laser or red marking turns white and then immediately hold down L2 to aim. Not only will this slow down time even further and replenish some of your ammunition, it will massively boost your weapon damage. It means that you can blast through a riot shield with the dual pistols or even shoot a mech brute with them too. It speeds up your kills, provides you with ammunition, saves you ammunition and is worth way more in points than your basic kill. Need I say more? Extend your combo. Now that you have the practicalities of taking the fight back to the house players, you want to ensure that you make the most out of that combo that you're building. And to do this, you're going to need to get a little cocky. What I mean by that is that it can be tempting to just rip through enemy after enemy, but you do actually have a fair few seconds before your combo will expire after you kill someone. With these precious seconds, this is your opportunity to take a beat, perform some tricks, extend your points and replenish your ammunition. 
Remember, you don't earn more as you increase your combo, instead you keep earning and the combo meter is applied once that combo has expired or you have wrapped up a mission. So you might feel like a couple of tricks netting you 1500 points might not be worth it, but when applied later down the line with, say, a near 40 time combo, well, now you're talking. Save your combo tokens. Now extending your combo is a risky business. Run out of ammo at the wrong time or miss time a shot, and your combo, well, it's a thing of the past. But luckily, each map is home to 5 combo tokens, which can boost your combo even further. When I first started playing, I would quickly stock up on those combo tokens, but as I said, you don't earn more earlier on. These tokens are actually perfect lifelines for when everything has gone wrong with securing your next kill. If it looks like you won't make it in time, quickly pick up one of the tokens and your combo will be saved. And that's all I have for you today. Let me know down below how you've been getting on with Rollerdrome and if you're still considering whether to pick it up or not, why not check out our video review. Anyway guys, thank you as always for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.